Hi, I'm Graham Goodbun and we're going to cover the basics of the two currently available flat screen technologies available today, namely LCD and plasma. Okay, we'll start with LCD. Traditionally, LCDs like this Dell here were used for PC use and that's how they came about. They actually did away with CRT monitors in the PC world and then grew into the home use that we see them being put to today. They vary from plasma technology in two main basic areas. One is they all rely on a light source on the back of the screen and obviously the actual structure of the screen itself is vastly different to plasma. Um, it's probably best described as an awful lot of very tiny little garden gates and when the gates open the light shines through and then you have colour filters in front of it so you get your red, green, your blue and your shades of graduation of colour. Now on the other hand plasma technology relies on a plasma gas being excited and it shines onto a phosphor coating very much like a CRT. These phosphor coatings then have filters of red, green and blue in front of them and they are the main basic differences. LCD has a very bright light at the back and plasma makes its own light. Okay, so getting back to LCD. LCD has two main issues with the moving image. Like I said, traditionally it was used in PC use and they're largely static images. So for that they're absolutely fine. When it comes to the moving image, all sorts of other factors come into play. Namely, it has to have a refresh rate fast enough so you see the image as a seamless transition as it's moving across the screen. Without smearing, which means it has to have very high processing and very high refresh rates. Now, obviously the other reason that LCD is commonly mm, classed as inferior to plasma is because of its backlight, which means it can't produce the same levels of black as a traditional high quality plasma can and this is a given. Of course plasma technology comes on leaps and bounds and so does LCD technology and to a point most of these problems with LCDs are now largely conquered one way or another. Um, we see much improved black levels, we see much improved motion handling but if you put them side by side you still see basic differences. There's nothing wrong with a good high quality LCD screen. They're made in vast numbers and they are competitive on price. Plasma technology on the other hand is always expensive to make and ultimately will offer you a better image for those that are prepared to pay for it. Okay, so the main advantage of an LCD TV is the light level it can produce. And of course, this gives rise to the disadvantages of an LCD in elevated black levels that this sometimes brings to the party as a result. Now, with LED backlighting, LCDs are making huge strides into giving a decent black level. But you have to pick your set carefully and make sure it fits the purpose for which you're going to put it to. So, to summarise this brief introduction to LCD and plasma, we have the following facts. LCDs are very bright and can give rise to elevated black levels. Plasmas can give you very accurate colour and very good blacks. Now, traditionally, the smaller sizes are LCDs and the larger sizes are plasma. But now LCD is encroaching into ever larger sizes 37, 40, 46, you have to take very good high quality advice from your dealer as to which set is best for your viewing environment.